Hey guys, and welcome to my sort of epilogue video on Skydrift. Um, yeah, now this now the series over. Is this probably a good time to talk about it? It's a game, and there's a sort of my let's play as well because that's how we do these things. Um, in terms of the game, I actually quite like this game. I think this was more and more that I played because it was an obscure game, and it was one I didn't think there was that much tension of. And people weren't that aware of, which I honestly find quite cool. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's do a, let's do a neat little let's play of it. And while the difficulty on this game could be a bit askew, I mean, I was coming first and third throughout the entire game. I think that's kind of fair. I mean, it doesn't really give you a great sense of progression, because you just kind of have the same level of difficulty thereabouts for the whole thing. But at the same time, you know, you've... Uh, it, it keeps it smooth. It's more about your skill level and how well you can succeed. Um, past that, gameplay. Yeah, I really like the gameplay. It's it's good play, like plane flight, and then it's good arcade racing game stuff with the power ups and things. None of the power ups are too bad. There's no like blue shells or anything. You do have to work to get your position back, and you've got to be smart about it, which I appreciate in a, in a sort of arcade racing game. Maybe in planes makes it pretty cool because you've got the whole three dimensions of movement as opposed to just sideways and forwards, backwards. You've also got up and down, and it makes it makes it a bit more interesting and jazzy, to be honest. And graphically, the game's tight. Like it looks nice, and you know, stylistically, there's a there's a pretty cool, pretty cool style going on with things. Uh, sound wise, there's some pretty neat music. Yeah, I mean, I've not tried the multiplayer. I can't judge that aspect. I can't judge like the sort of net code and things because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't tried that. But I mean, it seems like it'd be a game that'd be good to play with other people online, assuming the net code is good. Because I don't know off the top of my head. But yeah, it's a game. It definitely comes with some pretty solid thumbs up from me, honestly. After after all that st after all that time. It's it's a nice racing game. It's it's not going to be as tight and polished maybe as a Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed or something like that. But you don't necessarily need to expect it to be. It's not it's not the same game. And it has its quirks, which I think is the real appeal of it. It's not going to cost you much if you're going to get it, but it's it's got its quirks. It's nice. Um, in terms of my let's play, yeah, this is this is one of the ones I'm not as proud of, honestly. Not so much because my content wasn't funny. I think, especially the first five episodes, the commentary was pretty good. It's it's more it's a let's play. I wish I'd recorded pretty much in bulk. I think I kind of lost my skills recording this like once a week. Like you would see me get good in, towards the end of an episode, and then I'd be bad again the next week because I'd have like left it for ages, then come back to record it, and that's obviously not a practical, real practical way of doing it. On top of that. Obviously, there's kind of the issue of all the graphical glitches that I was getting on the videos, which I honestly don't know what caused them. I still don't really know what caused them in any of my videos to get them, but this series was really, really bad for getting them, which I sincerely apologise to you guys for, because it was, it was fun recording this Let's Play. It's just, obviously, you guys wouldn't have had much of the whole recording it fun because you had to watch it from gra graphical glitches also there were quite a few times and again I have no idea why this is the CPU just on my laptop was not happy about playing this game and recording it so it kind of just slowed down and it made the entire game not look as nice and not run as nice or play as nice and that's obviously not fantastically appealing to you guys so yeah I heavily apologise for how this was like one of the worst let's plays I've done in technical terms and I, th I think it's a pretty fun let's play and I think the episode length worked well for this let's play but the uh, the technical start side is not fantastic it's definitely one of those let's plays that's pushing me more, more towards the idea of, ed of actually getting some good editing on, getting some good video technics stuff but yeah I mean, the game, thumbs up my let's play maybe not as much but yeah that's kind of my critique 
If you guys have got anything to chirp in with, uh, go ahead in the comments. Uh, if you liked the Let's Play somehow, then, uh, you know, keep it, keep sharing it. I'm not, I'm, the, with this game, unlike some of the others that I've done Let's Plays with, and I'm doing Let's Plays with, this is one I feel there's more some chance that I might come back to it for multiplayer stuff if that ever, if that ever was a possibility, there's a chance I might potentially come back for multiplayer stuff. I'm not saying there's a guarantee of it happening. It's probably no real guarantee of it happening. It's probably like no chance ever of that happening. But it's it's a good game and I liked it. So that's always potential. Yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching the Let's Play. Thanks for, thanks for enjoying the Let's Play. And yeah, I hope to continue seeing you guys around my channel. Hope you give me a sub, like, share, whatever. But yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching the Let's Play. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching stuff on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time in a different Let's Play or different video or whatever. So bye guys.